Hello, I'm Marcus Boucher, CEO of Palladus Aircraft Limited in Switzerland. We are here in the final assembly hangar where all our products are being completed and tested prior delivery to our worldwide customers. Our latest addition, the PC24 Super Versatile Jet, has since its market introduction in 2018 enjoyed a tremendous customer interest. We have decided to introduce the PC24 to you by means of a virtual tour. To do this, I would like to introduce to you Fish, Senior Test Pilot and Marta, new project engineer, who will explain the unique features and benefits of the PC24 to you in detail. Thank you for taking time watching this video and should you like what you see, do not hesitate to contact your nearest Polaris distributor for a physical introduction. Hi, my name is Matt Hartkopp and I'm an experimental test pilot here at Pilatus headquarters in Stahn, Switzerland. To date, I have about 1,500 hours flying the PC-24 and I'd uh, love to spend the day telling you some interesting details about the super versatile jet's design and capabilities. But in the interest of the time, I'd like to give you just an introduction to some of its main features. So without fail, one of the first things that we hear when people see the PC-24 for the first time is the aircraft is a lot larger than they expected. Well, it's technically a light jet, certified under FAR Part 23. Its physical size is, is actually between traditional light and mid-sized business jets. Its maximum gross takeoff mass is 18,300 pounds, 55 feet in length, the tail is over 17 feet high, and the wingspan is just shy of 56 feet. Many people also assume that it shares the same fuselage as the PC-12. That's not the case. The PC-24 is a completely clean sheet design its passenger cabin is actually 50% larger in volume than that of the PC-12. What's really impressive is that even though the PC-24 is much larger and heavier than the 12, it can get into nearly all the same short runways and cruise 150 knots faster than its little brother. A signature Pilatus feature on the PC-24 is the massive cargo door. It's something no other business jet offers and opens up a world of flexibility and versatility. In conducting research among Pilatus PC-12 owners, we discovered that many of them didn't necessarily buy the aircraft for the cargo door. Once they had it, they really liked it. It became a feature they couldn't give up. You can see with this massive 49 inch wide, 51 inch high opening, it gives you direct access to the over 90 cubic feet of baggage space. The PC-24 can carry things that no other business jet's capable of. With the straight wing trailing edge, you can even load the PC-24 directly from a forklift and a pallet loaded up to a thousand pounds of almost anything. This unique feature provides a great opportunity for flight departments to offer the companies a wide range of new mission possibilities. Now let's take a look at the engine. PC-24 is powered by two Williams International FJ-44 4 Alpha QPM engines. They each produce 3,420 pounds of thrust and are FADEC controlled, and they have a 5,000 hour time between overhaul intervals. In the event that one engine stops running, the other engines automatically increase thrust to 3,600 pounds. Engines are also mounted high and aft on the fuselage to prevent FOD, and mounting them in this position opens up room for the cargo door and reduces cabin noise in flight. With the PC-24's ability to land on very short distances, there's no need for thrust reversers. This has the added benefit of reducing cost, weight, and maintenance. The PC-24's engines also have two unique features not seen on traditional business jets. The first is QPM, which stands for Quiet Power Mode. QPM allows the pilot to start the right engine and then run it at a sub-idle mode in order to generate up to 250 amps of electrical power to heat or cool the cabin and to run the avionics for pre-flight preparations. This enables the PC-24 to operate independently in remote areas and without the need for ground support equipment. A nice side benefit is the time spent operating the engines in quiet power mode does not accumulate hours or cycles on the engine, so you don't get a mismatch in times between the two engines. With QPM, you basically get all the benefits of an APU without any of the noise, weight, complexity, or maintenance. The other unique feature of the PC-24's engines is that they incorporate Williams' proprietary exact nozzle to provide some passive thrust vectoring. This is accomplished through a clever engineering principle called the Coanda effect. 
to keep the exhaust flow attached to the curved top of the surface nozzle here. The effect is that with no moving parts, you get three degrees of nose up thrust vectoring at takeoff and high power settings to assist in rotating and becoming airborne in very short distances. At cruise speed, the exhaust flow separates from the top surface of the nozzle and the thrust vector is straight out to put all of your power in the direction of flight. In addition to the engine and the cargo door, one of the breakthrough pieces of technology that enables the PC-24's incredible range of performance is the wing design. This is no off-the-shelf NACA airfoil and wing design from the 1960s. We used genetic algorithm optimization methods, high-speed computers, and evaluated more than 120,000 custom airfoil shapes to determine an ideal solution for this tough set of design requirements. The result is a wing constructed of five unique airfoils blended from root to tip, combined with a sophisticated flap and spoiler system. Let's take a look. The flaps cover 75% of the wingspan, with the inboard section being double-slotted Fowler flaps and the outboard section single-slotted. On top of the wing are four spoiler panels. The inboard two are exclusively activated with weight on wheels to act as lift dump devices and to put weight on the wheels to reduce landing distances. The outboard two spoilers are multifunction. In addition to dumping lift on landing, they can also operate in the air to act as speed brakes and assist the ailerons in roll. Even the construction of the PC-24's wing is state-of-the-art. Each upper and lower wing skin starts out as a 4,000-pound aluminum billet, which is then machined down to a 185-pound component with integral stringers and fittings. The skins are then shot peened to their final contour to add improve resistance to bending fatigue and stress cracking. And yes, we do recycle the aluminum. So what's the benefit of all this advanced aerodynamic and manufacturing technology? The PC-24 can cruise at 440 knots, yet approaches with reference speeds between 90 and 100 knots, and lands in less than 3,000 feet. Its stall speed at maximum landing weight is just 82 knots. You can hand fly steep turns at 45,000 feet and the handling qualities are rock solid. Pilatus engineers take special pride in the fact that the PC-24's wing requires no fences, vortex generators, winglets, or other aerodynamic fixes to make it handle properly in all flight regimes. Just to give you a couple examples of the PC-24's takeoff, climb, and landing performance. At sea level, under ISA conditions at maximum takeoff weight, it clears a 50-foot obstacle in just 2,930 feet. Your initial climb rate exceeds 4,000 feet per minute and you can go directly to 45,000 feet in just 25 minutes. Landing at maximum landing weight in the same conditions requires just 2,375 feet. Now you may not normally operate from a 3,000 foot runway, but you can still gain an important benefit from the PC-24's slow speed capabilities. You see, speed is energy, of course, and a low speed in the critical landing phase of every flight means there's less energy to dissipate upon touchdown, directly adding a margin of safety every time you fly. The short landing distance also allows you to access airports other jets can't, especially when factoring in rain, snow, ice, and slush on a runway. The PC-24 is designed from the outset to operate from unpaved runway surfaces like grass, gravel, and dirt. While operators of traditional business jets might never think of doing this with their aircraft, it's something PC-24 operators around the world do every day. The PC-24 can access thousands of additional airports and runways compared to other business jets. These runways may be closer to your ultimate destination, saving you considerable ground travel time. What makes this possible is the PC-24's unique landing gear. The trailing link main landing gear has a long shock absorption stroke, making nearly every landing a soft one. If you notice the large, fat tires and dual main wheels, the main gear tires are inflated to just 70 psi, which helps it float over soft surfaces and provide rolling resistance to stop quickly. The mains are mounted far aft on the wings so that any debris thrown up by the tires doesn't go anywhere near the engines. The brakes are steel and are controlled by a digital anti-skid system. The brakes are the only hydraulic system on the PC-24. Everything else is electrical or mechanical, which helps reduce maintenance requirements and cost. The nose landing gear has a wide tire inflated to only 55 psi features a chine to deflect water outboard. The only special equipment required to land on dirt, grass, or gravel is a lightweight, quick-release guard flap that mounts to the nose gear strut behind the tire. Everything else is designed into the aircraft as standard. Coming around to the leading edge of the wing, you can see that it's heated with engine bleed air for ice protection. The engine inlet lip is also heated with bleed air. The horizontal stabilizer has an inflatable boot for de-icing. There's two ice detectors on either side of the cockpit. 
When they detect ice, they automatically activate and control the aircraft DI systems. There's a lot of these cool little features on the PC-24 that really help the pilot out and enhance overall safety. In addition to overwing gravity fuel fill ports, 24 comes standard with a single point pressure refueling system. The aircraft can hold 6,000 pounds of fuel and the digital fuel computer can even remove fuel from the aircraft to give you the flexibility to easily balance between fuel and payload. Make any last minute adjustments if your passengers show up with more baggage than planned. Flight crews and line service workers will greatly appreciate that the 24 has an externally serviced lavatory standard equipment. Easy to clean and recharge, no fuss, no mess. The nose bay houses the forward battery and the radar. The standard radar is the Honeywell RDR 2100, and the solid state RDR 7000 with predictive lightning and hail detection is also an option. PC24 comes standard with an inertial reference system for an independent source of attitude heading and position information. This is something usually found only on much larger, more expensive jets. The IRS gives you a redundant navigation source that's independent of GPS, therefore not susceptible to the potential of jamming, spoofing, or degradation. There are lots more details I could share with you, but these are just a few of the exterior highlights that make the 24 so unique. It's a clean sheet design with features like an integral cargo door, the ability to use thousands of unpaved runways around the world. Its physical size is more like a mid-sized jet, its operating costs and single pilot capability are more like a light jet. There really is nothing else like it. I hope I've been able to tell you about several of the reasons to consider the PC-24 for your flight operations. But there's no substitute for experiencing the 24 super versatile jet in person. So I encourage you to contact your nearest Pilatus sales center to schedule a viewing and demonstration flight. You can find their contact information by visiting our website, www.pilatus-aircraft.com. Now, if that wasn't enough to impress you, then we have something really special to show you. That's my office, a PC-24 cockpit. Come with me and in our next video we'll have a look.